Okay. So we're going to leave the mic with you and you can take over and introduce yourself and so on. Perfect. All right. And as people jump on, we'll just let them in and we'll, have, we'll do some Q&A afterwards in case anybody has any questions. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started then. Thank you, Dr. Lewis, for having me. Nice meeting you, by the way. <laughs> hey, I'm going to put mine on mute because people are texting me and this is our first time trying to get in. So ah, yeah, I think they'll, out. you'll see them like in the waiting room or something. You just have to let them in. They'll, they'll be like in a chat room or something. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for having me. And yes, my name is Lori Mick Question. So if you have any Mick questions, go ahead and put them in the chat box. I'd be happy to answer anything. And I'm very excited to be sharing this information with you guys today. And thank you again to Dr. Lewis for having me. So I am the Director of Business Development for Broward for the Miami Association of Realtors. So I work with all the uh, brokers, managers, realtors, throughout all of Broward County, which of course includes you guys down in Miramar. So I know we're all working virtually from home, but uh, I do have some important updates to share with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it. By the way, we are celebrating 100 years. I always say Miami looks great for 100. She hasn't really had a lot of work done, maybe just a, a little nip and tuck, but we are 100 this year, very exciting. So I'm gonna share some MLS updates, a little bit of super news, uh, some virtual training and education, where to find that. A couple of new products recently released, available to you. Where to find your agent resources online, COVID-19, all things uh, coronavirus related, and also a little bit about the 2020 dues. All right, all of the information that I share with you today is available on our website at miamirealtors.com. I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, one of the latest uh, policies put into effect by NAR, that's the National Association of Realtors. This was um, mandated earlier this year, uh, put into effect uh, by NAR, and this is a nationwide policy affecting any and all agents, realtors, brokers, managers, nationwide, all associations must comply to policy 8.0. Basically, it has to do with public marketing of properties. Now this pertains to all residential properties, whether for sale or for rent. If a property is being marketed publicly in any way, that listing must be entered into the MLS with no exception. Now, this includes, when you say public marketing, there's some examples right here. And this is also how you can report a property that you feel is not uh, in the MLS, but yet being publicly marketed. So they're talking about any type of flyer displays, yard signs, any type of digital marketing, social media marketing, um, IDX, uh, email blasts are also included in that multi brokerage, you know, brokerage uh, office to office sharing uh, listings. All of that is considered public marketing. Now, I mentioned you can report any property that you feel is being publicly marketed yet not listed in the MLS, okay? There's a special email address right here where you can send that. It's off MLS at miamire.com. And that is completely anonymous, same as when you report MLS errors right through the MLS through Matrix. Uh, this is an anonymous reporting system goes to off MLS at miamire.com. You just have to report one, uh, include one type of documentation when you do report it so that they can investigate further. And you'll see here in red what is excluded. Remember I said only residential properties um, are concerned. So it does not apply to any type of commercial, uh, vacant land, multifamily units over four, uh, builder developer properties, anything of the sort does not fall under this umbrella. And of course, you can always read more about it on our site. I like to use the forward slash a lot. So if you go to miamirealtors.com forward slash clear cooperation, you can read more about it in that section or just go to forward slash MLS. All the information is there for you, constantly being updated. Now, it's always an exception to the rule, right? So recently, our Miami MLS put into effect, right, on May 27th, the new coming soon status. So you will see that when you go into um, add a listing, edit a listing, just search for properties, you'll see that additional status now. You'll even see it on the, on the front page on your market watch, it's on there. So 
coming soon. What is that? Why do we need coming soon? Well, uh, basically it was decided that if you have a property that is not ready to be shown, you can still put it in the MLS. It just cannot be publicly marketed. So let me give you an idea what that um, means exactly. So basically these listings, why, why they voted to do this is because they were out there anyway. And basically this gives everyone who participates in the MLS has access to the MLS system. It gives them kind of, you know, uh, equal, equal um, opportunity okay, to see those listings, send them to their clients, um, just so they're aware that they are coming soon, but not yet ready to be shown. So big thing to remember though, the biggest thing is that they're not allowed to be marketed in any way under coming soon status, very important. Also, if you enter a property as coming soon, you can only do it once per listing per agent. You cannot switch an active listing to coming soon. Okay? If your listing's already active and something happens and they're gonna throw a new roof on there or something, obviously you would have to take it temporarily off the market or withdraw the listing altogether. So anything that's coming soon, right, must include a coming soon authorization form available on our website, signed by the seller, along with a signed listing agreement. And it is sent to coming soon at miamire.com. Okay, this is a special area for these particular listings. These are short term listings. And what I mean by that is that a coming soon status can only be a maximum of 21 days. Now, it doesn't have to be 21 days. If somebody needs three days to declutter their home and you wanna put it up as coming soon, let people know that it's on the MLS um, and it'll become active shortly. You can put it on there for three days, five days, seven days, 10 days. When you enter this as a coming soon in the MLS, it will give you, um, it will automatically require uh, a go active date. You can't bypass it. So you can put 21 in there and then always change it after, but the system will not allow it to go past 21 days. Now, if for some reason that property is still not ready to be shown, okay, and not ready to turn active after 21 days, you will need to change it to withdrawn status, okay? So all the information here, I pulled up a couple of bullet points from our website. Go to miamirealtors.com forward slash MLS or just go to forward slash Miami coming soon status. All of the detailed information, the FAQs, forms, everything right there at your fingertips on our MLS page. Okay, so Look at this here. We're having a lockbox party. This is actually up at our Jupiter location. We have several locations now. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was a party or a reunion. I don't know, but they're not practicing social distance. Uh, but we do have lockboxes available and key fobs for you, completely contact free at four, soon to be five, I believe, office locations, because we were just talking yesterday about adding the Aventura office to a location to get lockboxes. As of right now, these are available for you at uh, the Sawgrass office in Sunrise, at um, our uh, Coral Gables office in Miami-Dade, headquarters near the Miami airport, and also um, Jupiter in Palm Beach County. So I think we're going to be adding our Aventura location as well. So we've got everybody covered. Uh, can't do it at our Northeast location because I actually live closest to that one. I'm, um, I'm in Pompano Beach, our Fort Lauderdale office um, on Federal Highway. The building itself is still closed to the public. So not feasible to do it there, but we do have it covered in Broward County right now at the Sawgrass office out in Sunrise. All you have to do is email us at Supra at miamire.com. See the email address right there, supra at miamire.com, or just give us a call. I hope you have this number in your phone. This is our main number. I call it the Miami Hotline, 305-468-7000. It's easy to remember. Okay. That will get you anywhere, anytime to any one of us it can be reached through that main number. And I'm gonna give you my contact info at the end so you can reach me directly on myself. So you can get uh, super lockbox, you can get a key fob, you can get both. If you need an authorization code, whatever you need, okay? We want you to keep doing business and stay busy. And I know Dr. Lewis would say the same. Uh, but, um, and keep in mind too, those of you who are Miami members, guess what? No additional fee ever, ever for super service, okay? So you save $100 a year. Other local associations charge extra for super service throughout the year, and we do not. So you save a lot of money there. So just let us know. Yes, ma'am. 
Mm -hmm. Sure. Box, so I, I know the E key is, you said that's free. The boxes, if they get boxes right now, are they free? No, the, the Supra service is the monthly service that um, other associations bill for. It's about $100 a year just to maintain the e-key service. Um, right now, if you need a new authorization code, if you're a new member, a transfer, or got a new phone, any of those apply, um, you can call us. We do not charge the $30 activation fee. That's been waived, and that includes new agents coming on board. If you need um, uh, a lockbox, they are leased items. You pay a one-time lease fee. It is once for the duration of your membership. They are one twenty-five plus tax, so it's one thirty-four twenty-nine. You box. only pay it once for the box. Okay. It's you only pay it one time. It's for the entire duration of your membership. The batteries are good for about ten years now, and they're pretty much um, bulletproof. <laughs> and they're also fully insured. Um, I said, don't don't drop them off the top of the building. I'm not sure if they'll survive, but um, they are fully insured and they're good for about ten years. So you only have to do that one time lease fee, but we can do everything over the phone and you just go pick it up at your leisure. We'll give you the shackle code. You just go get your box and go on your way. All right, so virtual education. I know you guys are learning, 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 right? I am a big proponent of always be learning. There's always something new to learn, especially when you're a Miami member, right? Right. crazy these things that you know how things have been going over the last several months everything just has magically transformed to virtual including all of our training webinars and tutorials now more than ever very important for you to stay on top of it we have live webinars every day throughout the day please go to miamirealtors.com forward slash calendar they are right there it'll take you right to the july calendar it looks a little bit different than it used to but these are offered for free we have free ce classes available on there right and you just have to look and click on there and just register for they're all done uh, via zoom and guess what if you miss a live training webinar no worries you go to miamirealtorslive.com okay and search for it and within a day if not later that day, but always usually by the next day, you'll find that webinar because they record them and then post them afterwards. So it's a beautiful thing. You just have to log in with your username and password and uh, it's right there at miamirealtorslive.com. So, and if there's something you're ever looking for, let me know or you can always email education at miamire.com. All of us can be reached at that same email address. Make sure you're receiving our emails on a regular basis. I know we do send out quite a few, but um, I always say before you delete it, at least look in the subject line because <laughs> you don't want to miss anything important. So the emails come actually from register at miamire.com. If you're not uh, receiving regular emails, let me know. Shoot me a note in the chat and we'll get you resubscribed so you don't miss any important updates. So I wanna talk a little bit about what's new and I apologize, I ran out of time. I had another meeting right before this one and I realized that I accidentally took out my international MLS slide. So I'm actually gonna talk about that first because it's very important. Miami members now have, I'm gonna talk about two other new pop, uh, programs or products rather that we recently rolled out. Well, one is kind of a new and improved and the other one's brand new. But in addition, you now have the international MLS. All you have to do is go to the, that's T-H-E-I-M-L-S. You can spell it out if you want. It's easier to just do V-I-M-L-S.com. So that is what the website looks like and that's where your listings are going to appear. So what you want to do is go to that site, okay? Sign up with your email, same one that you use for the MLS, okay? Enter your email address, say, forgot my password, they will send you a temporary password and then you'll be in the system. So what's great about this is that you will see your listings in the international MLS. So in addition to all the exposure you already have as a Miami member, including Proxio, now on top of that, you're also in the uh, global MLS. So how is that different than Proxio? Well, Proxio is strictly brokers, realtors, agents worldwide, okay? It's not a consumer site members only people in the real estate profession international mls is a public site you can send it to anyone anytime anywhere people are looking globally worldwide at properties 24 7. so that's where you want those to pop up so make sure you sign up for the international mls and you will see your listings on there it's that easy 
All right, number two, MO Viewer. All right, if you have recently um, put in a listing in the MLS, you will see now that MO Viewer is in there on that uh, listing input sheet. So what is MO Viewer? It's a company out of Germany, okay? The site is imoviewer.com. Make a note of that, I-M-M-O Viewer, imoviewer.com. And you sign up for that the same way you do pretty much for the international MLS. You simply go to the site, enter your email address, say, uh, forgot my password, they will send you a temporary password. You wanna make sure that you are signed up and ready to go with MO Viewer because this is very important for those of you who have active listings, right? Basically, moving forward, when you put a new listing in, you have the option to check MO Viewer as the default. If you prefer to use another um, virtual tour company, or uh, you want to use Property Panorama or any one of the other vendors, that's fine. You can opt for that, but the system now automatically defaults to Immo Viewer. Why is that? Well, it's a free service offered to our members, and what it does is it takes your first 15, 15 listing photos and turns it into a video slideshow. So, as I always preach in my matrix classes, the importance of making your first photo count and now your first 15. So not just that first photo, that should always be eye-catching, right? I can't stress that enough. But you wanna make the next 14 really count because that is going what's going into this video slideshow. And Immo Viewer does all the work for you. You also, for free, have the uh, chance to go in and also create a 3D 360 tour, okay? You don't have to have a 360 camera, but it works best with the 360 camera. But those of you who have smartphones, we know they take some pretty good pictures and videos. So find out more about that at their site, or as always, go to miamirealtors.com forward slash MO Viewer. You can do that with any product or service. It's the what's in it for me. I call it the shortcut page. It has everything right there at your fingertips that you could possibly want to know about a particular product or service. So make sure you're set up and ready to go with MO Viewer. And last but not least, <clears throat> excuse me, Remind Pro. I know you guys are already using Remind right? It rolled out about, oh my gosh, I think it's a year and a half already. It's been something like that crazy. We have so many classes and trainings in, in Remind and our members love Remind and what they love even more now is that you have Remind Pro for free. This is a Miami member exclusive, right? We had 31 days of Remind in May and we covered all of the uh, bells and whistles, but if you're not already using Remind, make sure that you uh, go to Remind on the dashboard, click on there, go to miamirealtors.com forward slash Remind to learn more about it. It is one of our top uh, products here at the association. It has so much capability. Um, I do overviews in this and Agent 3000 because it's so popular with our agents. Everybody wants to know more about Remind. So what's pro? Well, it's new and improved. It's like Remind 2.0. It's another great way to search MLS and tax data, but those of you who were using this before know that if you're farming a particular area, okay, and you wanted the consumer contact info from a uh, household, Remind used to charge $3 per household, okay? It doesn't sound like much money, but it's valuable information. You're gonna get the phone number and email address for anyone associated with that property. However, if you're farming a rather large area, $3 times per household, can get a little bit costly. So the great news is you now have that all for free. So, and well, make sure. Lori, so yes. all, no, none of Remind, there's no charge on nothing for Remind. No ma'am, not if you're a Miami member, it is all free. Okay. And make sure you put the app on your phone because this is a great way to engage with your customers on the whole uh, home buying process. It's totally uh, user friendly, it works with any iOS system. Uh, you will find the icon on the dashboard. Immo Viewer is not on the dash. It's like HomeSnap. We have a couple of things that I know our, our members tend to forget about, and uh, HomeSnap is one because it's not an icon. Neither is Immo Viewer. You want to make sure you have those apps on your phone, both HomeSnap and Immo Viewer and Remind. Remind, though, you can find out more information. They're great with training and education when you go on there. You'll, it's very user friendly, but it has a lot of capabilities. And I want to definitely encourage you guys to sign up for a webinar or tutorial at miamirealtors.com. So start using Remind for free.
So here to help you stay informed, I mentioned earlier, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, COVID-19. I keep saying one step forward, two steps back, one step forward, two steps back. I don't know what's happening from one day to the next between the beaches and the schools and the restaurants, and it's really hard to keep track. But our, um, those of you who recently paid your dues, and thank you in advance, I'm gonna talk about that in a moment, but you saw on there a PAC contribution, political action committee, or maybe it's our PAC, but I think they go by PAC now. Every dollar helps because they did so much work this year through this whole COVID-19. They're the ones that went in and made sure that you were able to get benefits as an independent contractor. They helped make that happen. They made sure that um, uh, they fought with the governor to make sure that real estate remained an essential business. That was huge right at the beginning of all this. And more recently, they went and fought the condo associations to allow you access to those condo buildings because they were giving agents a really hard time during this whole thing. So they've really been busy. <laughs> but to find out more about this, okay, go to miamirealtors.com forward slash coronavirus. You'll find out more about the so-called new normal, keeping you informed of the stages, phases of reopening of Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach County. The latest government updates are on there. The latest real estate market updates are on there. Financial relief, okay? Anything you want to know, unemployment benefits, et cetera, it's all there. One-stop shopping at your fingertips. Go to miamirealtors.com. You can put in forward slash COVID-19 or forward slash coronavirus, and all the information is there for you. I also want to encourage you to go to the NAR website. They have the um, right tools right now, I believe it's called, Right Tools Right Now. It's nar.realtor. Make sure you check that out as well. Don't want you to miss out on any important updates. And I want to make sure you guys get the benefits that you need, especially during this time. All right. So I alluded to the dues a little bit here. And we've already passed the July 1st deadline. So those of you who did pay, whether you paid in full, got on a payment plan, thank you so much. Um, we've sent out several notifications. We put up, um, when you go to sign into MLS, there was a, uh, a pop-up there. You can still um, go in and pay your dues anytime, miamirealtors.com forward slash dues. It's very easy to pay them online or give us a call at that main number and we can process them for you very simply. So if you've already paid or uh, set yourself up for a payment plan by July 1st, you definitely got the best end of the deal because you got additional savings and incentives. So we did delay the dues billing period from June 1st to July 1st. We also, for the first time ever, offered a five payment plan this year. Your first payment's only $99 so that your services don't get disrupted, okay? We want you to keep doing business, right? We're in this together. So you can do a full payment, a three payment plan, which is three equal payments, or a five payment plan. Hello? All right. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I thought somebody was trying no. to ask me a question. All right. And this is, and you can pay right online, miamirealtors.com forward slash dues, or just give us a call. Anyone can take a payment for you. So in honor of the okay, hashtag sorry. Miami 100, because we're turning 100 this year, right? Um, we did some additional incentives. Those of you who paid in full got $100 off their dues, $100 education credit, two free NAR designation classes, right? And you guys are also in the drawing to, rent, to win this little guy right here, which is a Ricoh 360 camera. Remember, I mentioned that with Immo Viewer. We're doing a big drawing July 10th. Oh my gosh, that's only in a couple days, right? I think it's Friday. We're going to do a drawing, and one lucky winner is going to win that Ricoh 360 camera. That thing is worth big bucks. <laughs> and you will do gorgeous 360 virtual tours with it. So I wish everyone luck who uh, paid the dues in full. If you didn't win one of the $100 gift cards through the month of June, don't worry, you're still in the drawing for the Rico camera. And what else? Oh, okay, there's a little bit more about the three payment plan, the five payment plan. And also, um, here we go. Last day to pay without penalty, okay, is August 4th. So you wanna make sure you still get those payments in. And those of you who did take advantage of the additional education credits paying by July 1st, you have until February of 2021, okay, to uh, use those education credits and the NAR designation classes. Those of you who are uh, eligible for that include a whole slew 
of those classes available here. And it includes the CIPS local market classes. That's the Certified International Property Specialist, right? We've got uh, ABR, the Accredited Buyer's Representative, SRS, Seller's Representative Specialist. SRES is the Senior Real Estate Specialist. And I always joke with our members and I said, that doesn't pertain to you. That pertains to your clients, okay? When I say senior, <laughs> senior real estate specialist, EPRO designation, Renee, which is the real estate negotiation expert, MRP is the military relocation professional, green, certified green, obviously, CRS is the uh, client, oh no, I always forget this one, certified residential specialist, I think. That's the one I always forget. And then AHWD is a brand new one, at home with diversity. So you can use any of those, uh, your credits for any of those designation classes. Just go to miamirealtors.com forward slash education. Better yet, email our education department when you're ready to use those credits. It's education at miamire.com. Remember, you have it from now until next February to use those credits. And as part of your annual dues, I just want to remind you that besides the Supra service included, we don't charge additional for Supra EQ service. That's $100 a year saving. Remine, as I mentioned earlier, is now Remine Pro. That's a $2,400 value. Um, and then two uh, that you hopefully are also aware of, two hot products, Inman Select, which is in the new subscription. It's $199 a year people pay for. You have that free to you as a Miami member. Let me know if you're not getting your free Inman News subscription. I will book you up immediately. And also, last but not least, Agent 3000, which is probably our most product. It's kind of neck and neck with Remind Pro, but Agent 3000, that's a $900 value. It's about $3,600 uh, in value in products and services that our members get along with their membership. So it's not just about MLS, right? Matrix access, it's so much more included in your membership dues. Um, but definitely, I encourage you to look into uh, those products and services such, a, such as Agent 3000 and see how they can benefit you. It is a fantastic marketing tool. So basically it's about 3.3 million in member savings this year. And we thank you again for being a Miami member, those of you who have already paid. And um, if you have any questions about that, you can contact me or any of the staff, but um, don't forget to try to pay or get set up into a payment plan prior to August 4th. And with that being said, um, I always say thank you for being a Broward Miami member. We have over 12,000 agents just in Broward County, more than any other local association. We have two soon to be three office locations, our Sawgrass, our Northeast office uh, in Fort Lauderdale, Sawgrass out in Sunrise, um, just off 595 and 136. And hopefully you will soon be going to our Southeast Broward location. It's been a little delayed because of this whole COVID-19 situation. So we're a little bit behind schedule. We were shooting for a May opening, but it should be opening hopefully within the next several months. And that will be at Oakwood Plaza. So I know you guys are in and around the Miramar area. This is going to be right off of uh, 95 between Sheridan and Sterling in the Oakwood Plaza. It's gonna be a full service office once we reopen <laughs> and we'll have training, education, all of our member services available there. So stay tuned and you'll be seeing uh, updates about when our proposed opening date is for our Southeast Broward location. Again, my name is Lori Mick Question. So if you have any Mick questions, that's really my last name, it's my husband's, um, please reach out to me. My cell number's here, so take a picture or jot it down. It's 954 895 7464 again 954 895 7464 you can call or text me or email me at lori l o r i at miami r e dot com you can reach any of our staff with that same email address plus any departments directly whether it's um supra mls trainers education anyone you need to reach is available at that same email address so please don't hesitate to contact me I am here for you as Director of Business Development for Broward, and I want you guys to kind of use and abuse me, um, <laughs> so to speak. So, you know, I just want you to know that I'm always here to help. So don't be shy, you know, if you have questions or ever need to reach me. Oh, I see some more names on here too, which means I have a photo opportunity. Ooh, <laughs> because I always post photos. Make sure you friend me on Facebook, like our Broward Miami page on Facebook. Just type in Broward Miami 
and you'll see the logo, it'll pop right up. We'd love for you guys to go in and like our page. Feel free to friend me on Facebook. And now I'm gonna to try to do this with my camera down low. <laughs> Looks like you and me, Dr. Lewis. All right, hang on. Smile. If anybody else wants to jump on, feel free. Don't be shy. <laughs> wave and hi. One more time. Big wave, big wave. Yay for K1, yay. Can you right. hear me? Lori. I can, I can. Okay. okay, so yeah, you have to send me that too, okay? That's number one. The picture? Yeah, send me that. Absolutely, please. absolutely. So here's my question. Uh, you talked about it, but I want you to just briefly say something to me because I had to take an important phone call. Yes, ma'am. We can't put, if there's, an, if there's a coming soon listing. So say, for instance, if there's a listing that we have and there, there has to be some more work done, can we send it to other agents and say, hey, they're getting ready to come on the market? So that's a no. No email blasts, anything outside the office, you can put it in the MLS as a coming soon listing. So any MLS participants will see it in the MLS, but you cannot uh, email the, blast it. Who are the participants? Are they the realtors or are they the clients and the realtors? Nope. Anyone who has access to the MLS, meaning um, realtors, brokers, agents, gotcha. et cetera. Mm -hmm. We can put it coming soon to them. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yes, good. coming soon. Absolutely. It is, it yeah. the, does it go out anywhere or it just goes to that platform and we as an agent have to come and look for it? Correct. So when you go to do your search, you can set it up in your market search and your, and your favorites. That's, you'll see that additional CSL coming soon listing, the CS status. You can search for those just like any other property status. You'll yeah. see them in there. I like that. So that's mm -hmm. the thing that we all want to make sure that we're aware of, of, of that coming soon. And I'm glad that you, uh, you shared that because putting information out and us not doing things in compliance, it, it gets you in trouble. So thank you for sharing that. And we yes. want to definitely look at that coming soon so we can beat, beat the crowd. <laughs> exactly exactly and um and you know we were kind of going back people had a lot of questions about it and um and i said it just gives everyone equal opportunities so that they know it's there and there's other guidelines like a coming soon listing for instance um you cannot um accept offers offers can be presented in a coming soon listing but cannot be accepted until it's turned to active status so that it's fair for all parties involved. So you're nodding, you understand completely what I'm saying. It levels the playing field and gives everyone equal participation. So it is a blessing in disguise or however you wanna look at it, it's, it's a blessing more than a curse. Let's put it that way. Right, right. Well, we thank you for that. Does anyone Absolutely. have any, any other questions? Uh, we appreciate you because a lot Absolutely. of people pay for, pay for the board membership but we don't mm -hmm. maximize it and we don't take advantage of the opportunity that's there for us. And you know, then sometimes some agents will complain about the amount, but we get so much for what we pay yearly. Absolutely, absolutely. People love even just the, I've had people transfer over just because of Agent 3000, Remind Pro, um, you know, International MLS, that's exclusive to Miami members. That. That's a big one. I love, so, I love getting Inman every day. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I know, I love it too. Oh like, breaking news. <laughs> I know, and you can share those articles, you can post them, you can email them. So I know, you guys don't be shy. And, and I'll tell you right now, I'll give you a tidbit. If you, um, you don't even have to email me, but if you want to get your Inman News subscription, go to miamirealtors.com forward slash Inman, I-N-M-A-N. That's what I call the what's in it for me page. When you pull it up, you'll see it says, what's, it for, what's in it for me? And then on the upper right corner, you'll see, go to um, the Inman site. I think it's InmanSelect.com or Inman.com. It says, go to the Inman site and enter the temporary password, welcome, all lowercase. It tells you exactly what to do to get yourself set up. It doesn't cost you a thing. Take advantage. <laughs> Exactly. Any questions or anything? Um, My question is, um, when you put a listing in, um, the Imo viewer automatically creates 15, um, you know, the, the video slideshow with the first 15. Does it also keep the pictures as well? 
for the first 15? Does it, is it just a video slideshow or is there, are there pictures also of the first 15? Um, well, you're right. Your photos still show. So if you have, you know, 25, 30, 40 photos in there, they, nothing happens with your pictures. Your, your pictures will still, still show to anybody that accesses that listing. So that'll definitely show. But um, previously in Matrix, and a lot of people didn't know this, if you didn't create your own um, little virtual tour, Matrix took your first five photos and just put them on a loop. That's how it was previously. So when I taught Matrix, I would say, first five photos, really count, make them count, because it just goes around and around, no bathroom pics, you know, and people would laugh. And now I'm like, first 15, first 15. So you just want to make sure that they really count. And I always say, number one, number one photo should be spectacular. I said, don't make it like a dating website when somebody's going to look online and then they don't like what they see. They're going to see it on their phone and they're going to swipe the wrong way and they're going to swipe right by you. So make sure it's really and always, always email me. I'm, I'm like a great um, kind of an unbiased party. <laughs> you can always run it by me <laughs> if you're afraid to show it to your broker. <laughs> you can always send it to me and I'll give it thumbs up or thumbs down. Right? <laughs> but yes, and then you can go in. Make sure that you go to immoviewer.com, okay, and um, uh, put your uh, email address in there. Same one you used to log into Matrix, okay? And then say forgot password. They'll send you one. And then you get set up on the account and then it's all automatic and you'll be good to go. Awesome. That's a good question, uh, Sandra D. Any other questions? That's it. Thank you, Sandra. Very <laughs> so now after I hang up, I have homework to do. I need to go. <laughs> I'm going to take one of those courses, those designated courses. So thank you. Absolutely. And I'm going to send you a, a follow-up email as well. I'm going to send you, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know or, you know, let Dr. Lewis know and, um, uh, you know, be happy to answer those if there's something you think of afterwards. I'm also going to send you the info for my upcoming webinar on July 15th, which is at 1 p.m. And that is beyond the MLS. Sounds mysterious, right? So it's basically um, everything but MLS um, because we have a lot of uh, matrix classes, but I talk about the other products and services available on the dashboard that you may or may not know about. So you'll hear a little bit about Agent 3000 and Remind Pro and all that good stuff. Here's so a, here's I'll a question. Um, uh -huh. Here's a question. Uh, can she send us all the info? She, okay, I'm recording it. I, I'll let her know. I'm okay. <laughs> Perfect. She it, but uh, she couldn't ask the question. Okay. No worries. Absolutely. Yes, this is being recorded. <laughs> okay. So I was hoping everybody oh. would be showing their smiling faces, but I understand. <laughs> Agents don't never like to show their face, and they're beautiful. I'm oh my gosh! To show my face, you know. <laughs> yeah, I have the funniest um, meme, and I actually I took it off, but I used to show this meme at the beginning, and it was like this gorgeous-looking creature, and then this not so gorgeous-looking creature, and it's like what I look like on my profile pic versus what I look like in a Zoom meeting. <laughs> it's like you figure it out. I said, I understand all the black squares and no pictures, it's just a name. I understand completely. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Lori. My pleasure. It was so nice meeting you, even though it's virtually, but yes, um, let's definitely keep in touch. I'll send you a follow-up. I'll send you the info for July 15th. If there's anything else you know they want to know, you want to set up a future training just for your for your office, let me know what, what the agents want to know, you know more about, and I'll be happy to, to set that up for you. I sure will. I'm going to take advantage of your number, okay? Okay. <laughs> Use and abuse it. <laughs> All right. Well, it's great meeting everybody. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and um, hope to see you again real soon, okay? You do the same. Thank you. And thank, thank you all. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.